Hello everybody, Wolfpack345 here, and welcome back to Wolfpack. It's been a hot minute since I've touched Wolfpack, and the reason we are taking a look at this game is because there was a brand new feature, bots. So now you don't have to find five players to fill the U-boat, you can actually have the various positions filled with AI crew members. And overall, it works fairly well. I'm just keeping a watch out on the horizon here just to make sure we don't get attacked by a uh, destroyer. So I'm going to go ahead and go down into the control room and show you folks the AI crew members. As you can see, all the positions are currently filled by members and they will actually move out of the way to uh, let you take a look at whatever position they're at, like here. He'll move out of the way and let you take control of the dive plane station and same with the engine telegraph and everything like that. And there's also another fellow in here in the hydrophone room. Now, you can actually control their actions by various menus. The F1, F2, and F3 key bring up UIs. So as you can see, we, can, we have an engine telegraph here, a compass to change course, and it also shows us our speed and knots, battery power, and the F1 screen also has all of your torpedo or TDC information right here for you. You can also switch different positions by clicking on their portrait up here. So this is the hydrophone operator. You can actually control the hydrophone from this here menu. And if you want to listen to it through the hydrophone, you can hear by clicking this little speaker button. Now, we're not obviously not going to hear anything at the moment because we are on the surface. You also ha can send radio messages here through this little interface, which is quite nifty. So I feel like we could have multiple boats going and crewed with even less people and it would be a lot of fun. And then here we go, we have the diving officer. So we have our depth meter right here, which we can adjust. We have little hotkeys right here. So we have surface to boat, periscope depth. I think this is just dive, I, I'm not sure. Probably to a safe depth, like 50 meters. I haven't tested it out just yet. And then we have crash dive with the little explanation point there. So overall, this is a awesome feature. There has been also new features added, such as quick start, I believe. So you'll start fairly close to the convoy, which is what I did in this mission. However, I have not been able to locate the convoy. Also, one thing that always bugged me about this game has finally been fixed. The Yuzo finally has a bearing indicator up at the top. So definitely a requested feature from me and others, and I'm glad to finally see it in the game. All right, so with all that out of the way, let's actually go ahead and head down and let's let's put these these crew members to the test let's go ahead and bring the boat down to periscope depth as you can see they shut the hatch and they're already adjusting the telegraph so we're switching back to electric engines they are currently flooding our tanks and we are going down passing closing in on six meters now and let's actually adjust speed I just want to go ahead slow speed now the hydrophone operator will let you know whenever he has established contact and same with uh, up on the bridge. There will be various messages that pop up in the bottom left hand corner of the screen informing you of things that are happening. And we are currently going under. So let's take a let's take a listen on our hydrophones here. Let's put do this. And I can't hear anything. There we go. So it looks like the convoy is actually behind us on a bearing of 210. So let's go ahead and actually go ahead and change, we'll change course that way. I'm going to go ahead and try to intercept this convoy. Let's actually take a look through our periscope. I might have actually overshot them, <laughs> which would be interesting. Well, let's see if I can make them out. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything out there. Well, I'm going to try to intercept this convoy and we'll take a quick shot at them to end the video. But I just really wanted to update you guys on this awesome feature. And if you've been on the fence of getting Wolfpack, mostly because you don't, you know, have people to play with or it's kind of a time commitment this is definitely a patch that remedies those issues with the game I think so 
definitely expect to see more on the channel and I'll get back to you guys whenever I establish contact with this British convoy. Okay, so I've actually gotten pretty close to the convoy. Let's go ahead and take a look. As you can see, these ships are coming right for me, or coming right across my bow. So now is really the time to set up our shot. I'm going to aim for this medium tanker right here. I already got its speed, and this convoy is heading about 5 knots. So let's go ahead and set 5 knots into there. We're going to shoot a salvo shot consisting of tubes one and or 2 and 3. Angle tracking will set to the attack scope. Depth, 2 meters. Target length, yeah, we'll just set to 50 because I want to kind of narrow spread here. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and get the 10. Let's go to here, distance table. So it's 10 center radiance and the target length or the mast height is 45. So it's 1.8 kilometers away. So let's go ahead and bring up that menu and adjust that. Oh boy. Go set angle on bow. It's at about an 80 degree angle. Wow, these gauges are a little finicky compared to. There we go. 80. There we go. So tubes two and three should be ready for fire. We'll go ahead and fire once the crosshair passes this little superstructure here. All right. Three, two, one. Tubes two and three away. Adios. Uh, what other ship do I want to hit here? That's a pretty big one. We'll actually go for this one, however. Let's bring up our menu. Our menu. AOB is a little higher. We'll do 70 degrees. Range, we'll just do 2 kilometers since it is a little farther out. AOB might be even a little less than that. Alright, then we'll shoot a salvo shot consisting of tubes 1 and 4. Torpedo depth too, that sounds fine. Target length, we'll just set this to as little as possible. Speed five knots like earlier. And tubes one and four, fire. All right, and those are all of our torpedoes away. Now we get to see if, our, if we hit. I hope we hit. <laughs> that would be mighty embarrassing if we did not. There we go, perfect. One hit and that's a big fireball see if we get another one if that's only one hit uh, the other could have been a dud very possible or it could have just outright missed which is possible as well so there we go we got a good hit and that ship is billowing black smoke like that I don't think I've seen a ship below that kind of black smoke I wonder if that's a new effect all right now we have to wait to see if ship number two gets a kneel well, it looks like our other torpedoes did not hit, but it seems like tube 2 is ready. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take a shot at one of these freighters here. Uh, range and everything should be all right. We'll go ahead and set it down to 1 point. Oh, we hit something. Oh, it looks like uh, we missed our intended target, but hit something way... Did we? Or was that... I can't tell, actually. Maybe... This ship did get hit, and it's the one billowing smoke. I think we hit a freighter way back there. Once the ship moves out of the way, we'll figure that out. But we're going to go ahead and shoot tube two at this guy. So we're going to shoot tube two. Annual torpedo depth, target length. Yeah, this doesn't matter for a, salv or a single shot. Angle on bow. He is at a very close to 90. We'll go 85 degrees. And fire now. All right, tube two is away. And yeah, we hit that tanker way back there. So it looks like maybe my speed calculation is wrong, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and shoot another. And this ship is very low in the water. It looks like she's definitely having some issues now. Let's see, how close do you think this one is? Oh, mission accomplished. It looks like, uh, did we hit another ship? Or I guess uh, two ships was enough to bring us over the top for our tonnage. Well, two ships done. Let's go ahead and uh, end the episode with something a little fun. So let's go ahead and go down here and switch to regular lights. And crash dive. Let's go, boys. We're going to go ahead and bring her under to avoid any incoming destroyers. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this here video. I really just wanted to showcase the new bot system. I have to say this is a welcome feature i really do like it and do expect to see more wolfpack on the channel 
I know my skills, my torpedoing skills this episode were not nearly as good as uh, they probably should have been, but this was just a quick video demonstrating bots. Oh, looks like that last ship I aimed for, I did get a hit on. Awesome. Well, that's actually really good to know. That makes me feel a little better. Overall, the bots are pretty good. The only complaint I think I do have is whenever you adjust the telegraph or and stuff like this, I would like some audio feedback, just a clicking noise at least or something. But other than that, I have to say this is a very welcome feature and I really do like it. So I guess I will leave you guys with that. Thank you all for watching. This is Wolfpack345 signing off and I'll see you guys on the next one.